The Black Cloud by Fred Hoyle was originally published in 1957. Hoyle was a renowned astronomer famous for formulating the theory of stellar nucleosynthesis. He would also have quite an impact on today's pop culture as he is credited with coining the term Big Bang Theory, although he did not actually believe that the Big Bang ever happened. But it goes without saying, he was clearly very intelligent. His book, The Black Cloud, falls into the hard sci-fi genre, as Hoyle went to lengths to ensure the science contained within the book was sound, and had no issues with laying it out within the pages, challenging the reader to get their own head around some of the theories and mathematics involved. The story is set in 1964 and starts when a group of astronomers discover a cloud of gas in the night sky. Upon further examination, it is found that this cloud is moving through our solar system, heading directly at our sun. A problem will then arise when and if that gas moves in between the Earth and our sun, as it will block out the light and heat, preventing solar radiation from reaching us, ending photosynthesis and possibly wiping out all life on Earth. The story then focuses on a group of scientists led by a Professor Kingsley, who is tasked with studying the cloud and reporting back to the British government on how best to deal with the situation and provide forecasts of possible events. Think back to those old black and white sci-fi movies where some alien invades from Mars or some monster rises from a long sleep to terrorise some unfortunate city. All of those films would have a scene where some scientists would sit around in a room, smoking pipes, throwing out theories of where the threat came from and ideas on how best to deal with it. Now take that scene, which is normally only a few minutes long, and imagine a whole book filled with just those scenes. That's what we have here. The cleverest minds on the planet sitting around talking. On the surface, this might seem a little boring, but it's quite the contrary. Going through the journey with the scientists as they slowly discover more about the cloud, and then, just as each time they think they have an understanding of its design and nature, some new information will be uncovered that makes them reevaluate everything. It's fascinating as each time new information comes to light, they will each offer their own perspective and make arguments until eventually they all agree on a conclusion or a course of action. As you might imagine, in a book so heavy on the science, there isn't a lot of room left for character exploration. Although we have an ensemble group of scientists, we never really get to know any of them and are not provided with any substantial information on their past or prior events to the book, so we are left to learn about them through their actions, or other characters throw away comments about how he has always been a hothead, etc. The same is true for the main character Kingsley, who we learn the most about, but again, this is mainly off the back of his actions. He is an interesting character to follow, as he is clearly a genius and is written in such a way that we are led to believe that his intellect is above that of all the other characters in the book. But with that intellect comes a level of arrogance, and that arrogance is mostly directed at authority, which will eventually cause problems for everybody. As the cloud passes in between the Earth and our Sun, the book begins to take on a different form as the effects on the world are explained and hundreds of millions of lives are lost. But the most extraordinary turn of events comes when the cloud of gas slows down, lengthening the time it is impacting the Earth and ruining any predictions the scientists had provided in regards to how long the whole event would last. This would lead to them discovering that the cloud is in fact an intelligent life form. The last third of the book then follows the scientists as they attempt to communicate with this new life form. At this point, the book takes on a more familiar sci-fi feel as they learn about the cloud while the cloud learns about the human race. Unfortunately, while this is going on, the Earth is still feeling the negative effects of the cloud. And Kingsley's communications with world governments hasn't exactly gone well, which prompts some governments to try and take action against the cloud, the result of which would be catastrophic for everybody involved. I had no idea what to expect when I picked this book up, as it was purchased on a whim, with me having no prior knowledge of the book or the author, but it's turned out to be a great read, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I appreciate 
it won't be for everyone. I'm no maths whiz, and at points struggled with some of the information thrown at me, and I feel at points the book would have been far more interesting had I held an advanced degree in astronomy or planetary science. But this didn't stop me from getting on board with the story and enjoying what would turn out to be quite a dark and terrifying journey. Mm.